Hey, hey, welcome to our channel, Tea Girl Magic Tarot. Here to do a reading for J -J -J Geminis, my Geminis. What's going on, Gemini? Welcome, welcome. Okay, I woke up like two, three hours ago. I haven't talked, so forgive my voice if it gets cracky. That's when I started to say the Gemini start laughing. But anyway, welcome. Thank you guys for all your continued love and support. I'm sending you an abundance of love, light, healing vibes to you gemini um this is a general message so take the messages that resonate and leave the rest don't try to force anything so choir come to the front one two three oh t girl tarot magic and collective t girl t girl t girl magic and collective t girl tarot Magic and collective, come check us out and see what we're about, about, about. We sing Gemini, 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 Gemini. We are Gemini, 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 Gemini. We sing Gemini, 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 Gemini. Yes, give the choir a round of applause. That was so bad. Okay, okay. So, Spirit is leading me to go get a message, like a Carl, a Carl. Somebody named Carl. This could be about Carl. Okay, I don't know. I don't. I didn't mean to say Carl. I meant to say card from the Oracle Fairies and the Wisdom Oracle. So, I'm going to get one card each, and then we're going to get in it from there. Okay? So, I hope everyone is doing well. Okay? I really do. Um. Yeah, I do, because there's this... The weather's changing. It's making people, you know, not that well. And I know I just got over or suffering through a little sinus infection, but ain't nothing, nothing that can't nobody get through. But anyway, um, damn. Divination. Okay, so that is what, that's one, one of the messages from the Oracle Angel Fairies. It says, divination, embrace your powers of a divination, which are especially strong right now. You have the ability to see your current situation with crystal clear clarity. Okay, so I'm picking it up. You guys are getting an upgrade gifts from your um, ancestors. Yeah, I see your ancestor in this fire. You guys are doing a lot of meditation. You guys are calling on your angels, ancestors. They're giving you downloads. You guys are in a really good piece right now, but divination. And then what else angels from this card? Oh, this one. Well, and then thinker. So you guys are heavily in thought right now. Meditation. And I'm also picking up someone is in heavily thought about you, high vibe, Gemini, cross watcher, whoever you are. Okay, and a lot of them are doing divination. They are trying to call you back in. This is what I'm picking up. Okay, so someone from your past or in your energy um, that's connected to you that you probably used to, I don't know, have some type of um, bond with. It could be a friend or a family member, but I'm picking up love. Whoever is on your mind that you're thinking about this love situation, they're thinking about you and they're calling you back in. And a lot of you can feel them, them, them thinking about you. Okay, some of them are trying to astral project into your space. So I'm going to need you guys to clear your energy and just be aware of that. Um, what else, angels? Yeah, because they think of that. They're, they're saying like you were the milk and honey. Okay, angels is opening up some more stuff. Child, why? This person's asking why. Gemini or high vibe. Or if you're a lower vibe, you're asking why. And a lot of you are asking why your divination's not working. Okay, they're trying to communicate to you, Gemini. You got a blind eye turned to this energy. Okay, yeah. But you look, see how this person's eyes is closed. See, there's this angel in the background. This is your subconscious. You're in the land of milk and honey. You're focused on your, your milk and honey. You're focused on divine. You're both focused on healing and growing. Okay, and this person is literally trying to call you back in, Gemini, using divination trying to figure out why it's not working <laughs> they want to they want to come and share the milk and honey with you let's go see what the light sayers are saying okay mm -mm. gemini but you're not having it no you're not what else angels what's going on yeah gemini you're not having it look you're you're going within you're good you've ghosted this whole situation you don't want anything to do with it right now your mind is on uh, your money and divine and that's what it is. Your family, the things that, you know, to help you heal, grow, learn, and evolve. And that's what your concerns are right now. It's not about this person. But they are doing, they are doing divination, trying to force themselves back into your energy, Gemini. 
Angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit, ascended masters of the highest white light, pure love. Tell us more, please. Tell us more. They want a rebirth. They want to bring, they want to re, they want to fucking bring the past back from the dead. Child, they're using divination and some of them are reaching out to their dead loved ones. Some of them trying to reach out to your ancestors. And they like, why is not, like, what's going on? Because <laughs> they're not your ancestors, sir or ma'am, okay? But they are, um, I'm hearing crossing the lines. That's what I'm hearing. So this is a habitual line crosser. This person doesn't have any boundaries is why they're doing divination to try to communicate with your ancestors to try to bring, they try to have your ancestors communicate with you or try to keep you in some type of, I don't know, I want to say illusion, but it's not an illusion. They want your ancestors to have you give this person a second chance. Yeah, because they're bored and I don't feel that's going to happen. That's just not going to happen, this person. This is like, they're like, why? It's not working. Why, though? Why? Why can't it happen? Because they're very passionate about you. They want a brand new beginning with you, okay? These people do want to, a lot of them just want to come in and have sex with you to steal your energy so they can start manifesting because a lot of these people aren't manifesting because they're looking at you because you got the milk and honey, okay? And they're like, well, why does Gemini get the milk and honey, okay? Well, because you ended shit with the fucking milk and honey. That's why, okay? And now you're receiving bad karma. And now this person's all entrapped in their head. Okay, they like I said before, they're doing divination work. They're scrying on you. Okay, so cut clean and cover your mirrors if possible. Okay. Um, and this person's feeling mentally entrapped as well. And they're feeling very heavily burdened. Why? Because things have stopped down from They're not in the land of milk and honey. They're in the land of I'm losing money, honey. I'm, this person could be possibly in poverty. Facing and experiencing homelessness right now. Couch hopping, I'm hearing for a lot of them. Or sleeping in their vehicle. They're couch hopping. Okay, some of them are sleeping. Oh, wow. Some of them are sleeping. On, I don't know why I'm picking up church. And this person is not religious. But now all of a sudden, see how God works? He going to force their ass to a church shelter. <laughs> Sorry. He going to force their ass into a church shelter. Okay, because they were trying to fight. The whole time, okay? They were trying to cause conflict and chaos in your life. So God was like, you know what? This is a little bit too much. This person's all over the place, okay? Um, some of you are experiencing headaches right now because they are trying to penetrate your crown chakra to kind of get into your energy to see how they can penetrate you, okay? To get you to change your mind. But the will has turned. This is a whole cycle completion, okay? You're balanced out now. You've balanced your yin and your yang. So even if this person was to come back to you, you're not the same person that you were when you last saw this person. You're a completely brand new person with brand new thoughts, brand new things. You have a brand new passion, a brand new idea, a brand new life. And this person's like, God damn. Somebody said, don't say, don't say, well, number one, I don't say the Lord's name in vain. God is a title. It is not a name. So even if I happen to say God damn, but I didn't say that, I said God. G-O-T. Okay? So don't, um, don't, don't, um, portray, I uh, know, don't, what does I want to say? Project your energies over here. Okay? Um, yeah. Don't start shit. Don't start no shit. Won't be no shit. But anyway, so this person's all entrapped in their head and their mind. A lot of these possible people went downhill since you left. Since you've been gone, they've been homeless in state of lack and losing money. Since you've been gone, they want to come back. They've been doing divination. Child, they're trying to read. They're trying to jumpstart something that's dead, that's not to return. And they're looking back at the past, just reminiscing. Reminisce on the love we had. They're pulling a Mary J. Blige. Okay, and this person is an older person, though. They are an older person, but they act in a, a childlike mentality, okay? You've known this person for quite some time. There could be an age difference between you two. It doesn't have to be. It could be a height difference between you two. You could be an animal lover, like loving dogs. You guys could have a golden retriever, or your person could have a golden retriever. They could have any kind of dog, but I'm just seeing the golden retriever right here, okay? Um, yeah, and this person, is, is, is they're experiencing a... I'm hearing an extreme case of karma and lack. And they are really in a bad place right now. I'm not picking up good vibes, good energy. They're depressed. Some of these people... Okay, hold on. Angel, tell me more. Yeah, this person's feeling left out and lonely. 
They want a ten of pentacles. They saw a ten of pentacles. Okay, so this person left you for a, a family situation, possibly. This could be a family, okay, that is doing divination work on you because some of them are jealous of you. They're like, why does Gemini get the keys? Why does Gemini get the milk and honey? This is somebody from your past. It's a family member that you haven't talked to for quite some time and they want to rebuild with you. And they have been doing divination, trying to trying to invade your space and energy to bring you guys closer together. But like uh, Spirit's telling me, that's not going to happen. Okay? Tell us more, angels. Tell us more. Why is this energy in the energy that they're in? Why are they trying to come back to Gemini, though? And high vibes. They're holding on to you. Because they look at you at the 90. You're the milk and honey. You're good luck and success. Happiness. Absolute. They're holding on to you because you're happiness. They're holding on to you because you're the nine of cups energy. Okay? You got the bag. You're in a good spot. You have good karma right now. You balanced out your yin and your yang. And this person, and you get you got a payout. You got money coming through. Okay? This person possibly is wanting to come back. If it's not a family member, it could be a family member. The family member might need some money or whatever. Going to ask you for new money. For new money. Yeah, because some of you guys just came into some new money. You guys got a promotion, a payout, some type of windfall, or it's coming. It's to come because you guys are getting ready to be in this land of milk and honey energy. Um, but this person, they are experiencing poverty. So they're coming back to you thinking they can wow you with sex and with a family situation, which they... They reneged on the contract before with the Four of Cups energy. They were bored with whatever contract or whatever offer. So now they're re going back to memory. Back down memory lane. They're going back down memory lane trying to figure out why the fuck they don't walked away from you. Why they ended the situation. Why they were bored with it. Okay. Um, and they don't even know why, to be honest with you. They don't know why they ended it. Because they're imbalanced. That's number one. But they see you as happiness. They want to come back. They want to reconnect only because they have bad karma okay so like um you guys you guys are loving anyway you're you're the lovers and even if you're not a gemini you're just a loving wonderful person if you're a high vibe energy you like to help people you like to balance you don't want to see anybody suffering but spirit is telling me this right here you have to be careful who you help there's nothing wrong with helping people you're supposed to help people in the time of need but the reason that these people are going through what they're going through is their karma. So you have it's a very thin line between trying to help someone and then you end up entrapped and snared in their trap and then you experience bad karma for you trying to help their ass out. And then all of a sudden now you experience heavy burdens and things are falling down for you. Just all you was trying to do is just help somebody. But when you're helped, you tapped into their energy of lack and then you it's like stepping in the middle of your brother and sister's uh, punishment. You don't do that. Your parent tells you to sit your ass down and let you let them handle it, right? So that's like you intervening in the parent's punishment for the child. And so that's why it's important to go within and use your discernment, okay? Um, and when spirit has you to end cycles with things, forgive them, like I said on the last video, for yourself. Don't forgive them for them. Forgive them for yourself. Because when you forgive them, that releases the contract. That releases the soul tie. Okay, as long as you're holding on to resentment and anger and emotions, that is holding on and allowing these people into your energy, okay, is why it keeps coming up over and over again. So anyway, what is the outcome for this person? How is this person trying to come towards my baby Gemini's? Gemini, look, child, this hit the floor. They are, they are look, this hit the floor. They is, they come into you like this, like, please, baby, forgive me. I'm so sorry. Then it lied to you about the family situation. Y'all didn't have kids together. Some of you don't. Some of you were promised kids with this person. And now they're facing judgment right now. This is how they're coming to you. Please forgive me. And you do forgive them, Gemini. You just learned the lesson that was supposed to be learned. And you're moving forward, upward and onward, closer to your dreams. These are events. These are events that are divinely guided by God himself. Okay? Um, there is no mistakes being made. Your life is perfect exactly where you're supposed to be, exactly where you are right now, okay? But you are, um, so explain the judgment card, angels. Yeah, they 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 feeling bad. They want another chance. They want a rebirth. They want a, a whole new life. They're trying to do divination to give you another outlook to give them another chance. So whatever that is, they're trying to do divination to let you let down their, your guard to give money to them for a lot of them. 
So it's all about money. I don't see any cups up here except for the Ten of Cups because they're passionate about you. A lot of them want to get a, you uh, uh, get you pregnant in a family situation because they feel that, that you then they'll be able to have access to your money. And they're thinking this is probably the only way if I have family with Gemini, high vibe, whoever you are. Because this person, they ever since you met them or have known them, they have experienced poverty in their life over and over and over. Possibly, I'm hearing eight years or more or ten years or more. This person, okay, they put on a good show. But right now, the older that you got, the, the older that they get... And the um, you're not seeing any ten of pentacles from this person, this person from your past. And you guys start to started to think like, hmm, every time you with this person, you y'all you always giving them money and having sex with them, and then they always walking away from you and giving you a heavy burden and leaving you out in the cold and keeping you trapped in your head. You were like, Yeah, you're not doing that anymore. So you made the judgment call right here to end it, to cut it like an OT Genesis. Yep. Yeah? Because this person does things too quick. Okay, they do things without thinking. They say things without thinking. This person's, and they're like, why did I? So this person could have said something to you. Why did, okay, what, why did they, why did they break up? Like, because they lied and ghosted you. So they, because whatever they said with this Knight of Swords killed everything with this death card right here. And now they're under judgment for whatever they have said. So maybe they're trying to do a memory erasal spell. That's what Spirit's telling me, but that's not going to work. Because whatever they did, it, it pierced your memory so deep that you'll never be able to forgive that. Because whatever they said, the last words that kept you in this energy, you were felt you felt mentally in prison and you felt left out and ghosted and unfairly treated. And you were like, why did this bitch do this shit to me? Well, spirit is like, because the longer you stayed with this person, if you were to continue moving forward with this person, your money would have slowed down. You notice that a lot of your money slowed down when you were around this person or with this person. You guys started receiving bad karma too, because you weren't balancing out the yin and the yang, okay? And this person was bringing you down. So you had to release this person. Mm-hmm. You sure did. And when you released a person, honey, brand new contracts, brand new relationship, brand new beginnings for you. That's part of the milk and honey in this payout right here. And now this person's feeling heartbroken, backstabbed, and betrayed because they felt like if they wouldn't have left you, they would be reaping the benefits of milk and honey in this ten of cups with you. But they did it. Okay. Why did this person leave my baby Gemini? Why did they leave? Why did why why because they were trying to juggle you, I'm sure. The truth, okay, we, yeah, because that's the truth. What they try to juggle you, they were trying to juggle you and get money. Some of these people were trying to use you for your coin, okay. They had plot planned and strategized, so there was really no love involved in this situation. So that's why Divine didn't have no problems causing some type of disruption, causing them whatever it was caused was divinely guided and your deuces at this point. So, whatever they said, it sealed their fate. And this was a faded event, whatever it was meant to be, okay? Tell us, yeah, it was meant for them to ghost you. It was meant for them to manipulate you, okay? It was meant for these people to do that, to learn your lesson. And Spirit said, that's the truth, okay? It was learn, to learn your lesson to go into this new abundance of payout, okay? To go into new contracts and relationships with equal give and take. Yeah, that's what's it. And tell us more, angels. What, is, what else is going on? Yeah, now this person's feeling foolish because they should have took a leap of faith and now they didn't and now their money's moving slow so now they're trying to ask. They have the nerve to ask God why. And God is not responding. God has shut this person out. God has pretty much used this person. God got the last laugh on this person. I'm going to just say that. God is the master magician. Okay, God is the master uh, uh Merlin, if you want to call it that way. They are the master, because when I see the hermit, I think about magician Merlin and all that, going within, being connected to divine and all of that. God is, look, God got the last laugh at the end of the day. This person was very materialistic. They're very childlike. This person wanted was an opportunist. Okay, even though I don't see any of the devil and all the, you know, emperor, but I'm picking up um, opportunist energy from this person because all the poverty cards are over here. And then the wealth is up here. Now they're feeling foolish over here, feeling bad, have, facing bad karma. Now they're trying to do spell work and divination on you because they're under judgment right now because shit's ending for them in their life. Yeah. So what would this person want to say to Gemini if they could speak from their right subconscious, even though it's it's wrong? Well, they've been doing work on you. Okay. So it starts with divination and it ends with work.
So they're doing work on you right now, and it's not working. <laughs> work that's not working. Angels, what else? What does this person want to say to my babies? I'm healing. Mm. In the reverse, Lord. They not healing. This person is not healing, okay? So clearly they're not doing divination in the right energy, okay? If you have to, they are not healed. They're operating from a distorted energy. What else, angels? What does this person want to say? Ooh. There we go. Okay, they want to say, I know who you are to me. So this person, I mean, of course, you're the truth. This person's seeking and they know because it's right on top of the Ace of Swords right here. And then it says, I'm jealous of your glow up. I'm mad it wasn't me. I told you guys how to glow up, okay? And they're mad that it's not them. And ever since, because they thought they were going to get one up on you. Yeah, because their prayers are going unheard. They're like, my prayers are going unheard. So they're praying. See, this person's praying and praying and praying, and it's not being heard whatsoever. So they're going back. So they're trying to come back to you for a payout. Just know that. So don't accept nobody from the past back, okay? Forgive them, you know, depending on, you know, what downloads you get, what energy you get from spirit. And never, ever, ever, ever do things out of the fear of guilt or feeling some kind of way because somebody else is going to feel some kind of way, okay? I don't trust myself. So this person is one not to trust your, trust themselves. You don't trust this person. This person pray for you every night like I just got done saying. They're praying for you, but their prayers are going unanswered. They're feeling like God has abandoned this person. Well, you know what? When you play with divine and you do the things in this low vibrational energy, God will leave. I'm probably, he just going, he ain't going to take up, he ain't going to put up with that shit. I project my feelings on you. This person, yeah, they treated you wrong. This person was very aggressive. They would cuss out people for no reason. You'd probably be like, what is wrong with you? Calm down. You know what I mean? They want to blame other people. This person has like a lot of childhood woundings and a lot of blockages that they have, they have to clear. This person was fake to you, okay? They would talk about you behind your back. They would. They would gossip about you, but smiling it up in your face. So you had no idea this was going on because it says, I smell in your face, but honestly, I want to take your place. I say, he just said, I'm mad at, it wasn't, your glow up wasn't their glow up, okay? And they're in financial ruin. I just got done saying that they are in financial ruin, okay? They're losing money. They're in poverty. They're like, well, why? Why did I leave? Why did I do what I did? And then they're like, I'm so lost right now. I am so lost right now. Y'all are shining, shining, shining. Gemini's winning. And they are jealous of your light because whatever you're doing, they're seeing it. They're looking at it. Okay. And they're jealous that they're not where you're at right now, but they want to come back to you and ask you for some money. And they're doing divination work to do so. So if your guys are feeling kind of like weird, you guys are having headaches, you know what I mean? Um, it's because they're trying to astral project. They're trying to force their way into your energy. They're doing candle work on a daily basis. They're overdoing it over and over and over again. And this is why they're in financial ruins. This is why they haven't healed. Because the energy that they send out to you, it keeps going back to them. And they're, this, this is with the energy that they're in right now. Okay? So, Gemini, that's been your reading. I hope this has helped. I love you so much. Until next time, bye.